Welcome to the journey. In the past week, I have noticed that the more people I interact with, the more I hear people saying that they feel churned up, that they feel unsure, that they feel down and even fearful. The challenge of the lockdown and what follows us now in the seven or eight months ahead continues to be a source of unease and of stress. I too have had some of these feelings in the past week. What kind of future do we really face? We're being told that we are waiting for a severe COVID-19 outbreak still in South Africa. The inevitable questions roll in my mind as well. What will happen if someone I know or someone I love contracts this virus? Or maybe even, will I get this virus? And this leaves us feeling very unsure. In a conversation that I had with one person whose loved one is in the medical services, I heard not only a deep fear, but also a raw vulnerability. This is what they said to me. I think that this is the most vulnerable that I've ever been in my life as far as I can remember. And it struck me that many of the things I heard from people in the last week and even my own feelings are underpinned by exactly that, a deep sense of vulnerability. And I went to go and look again at the work of Brene Brown. She wrote a book on vulnerability and also has produced a TED video on the same subject. Who better to speak about it than someone who articulates it so well? And so I invite you to take a look at that TED video if you can. It is on YouTube. But here are five takeaways from what she teaches on vulnerability. The first one, don't bottle up your emotions. Become self-aware. Most of us are taught to hide our emotions or to even run away from them. And this only causes more pain and more stress. Ask questions, explore your emotions. Don't be afraid of how you feel at any given moment. Find a way of even getting those feelings out. Write them down or journal them or draw or talk to someone about them. Use meditation, do whatever helps you. The second thing, it takes courage to be vulnerable. You know, most of our cultures shun vulnerability. It is considered to be a weakness. And Brene Brown says that it is anything but a weakness. It takes true courage to be vulnerable. When we dare to be vulnerable, we become our true selves, our most authentic selves. And therefore, we will be happier. The third thing, face your fear. You know, fear and criticism are part of life. That's just simply how it is. Fear restricts us. It stops us from realizing so much. The more you face your fears, the more you name them, the more you show up, as she says, the more you will grow in courage and resilience and become stronger for it. The fourth thing that we can learn, do not seek perfection. She says that we are duped into thinking that we have to be perfect and we have to live that perfect life and we have to look perfect. We have to act in a perfect way. We have to avoid any inner turbulence and pain. But perfectionism isn't about growth, achievement, or improving ourselves. It is about fear and avoidance of reality. And so, Brene Brown says, focus on excellence, being the best version of yourself that you can actually be, despite yourself, despite your struggles. This is a much more inclusive way of living because we are all 
as Jesus tells us in the Gospels, a mixture of weeds and wheat. And that's okay. And the fifth and final thing she teaches us, dare to be yourself. The forces of fear and insecurity and doubt will never go away, no matter how hard you try to avoid them or hide from them or attempt to bury them. Face them with courage and confidence. In your authentic self, you've been given the gifts to overcome whatever is put in front of you. Dare to be yourself in all your strengths and your skills and your beauty, as well as in your own flaws and in your own insecurities. Maybe take a moment today to think about where am I feeling most vulnerable and just become aware of it.